Hey everybody, Alex with AmericanMuscle.com. Today I'm bringing you my detailed review and installation of Ford Performance's laser etched valve covers in blue, fitting the 2005 through 2010 Mustang GT. So the Ford Performance laser etched valve covers in blue that we're taking a look at here today should appeal to any 05 through 10 three valve GT owner that plain and simple thinks that these just should have come on the car right out of the factory as they just look that good. But before we get into the thick of things here, I do want to call it out that the instant installation here is going to be a light to moderate two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter and it is going to warrant about a two hour job and I am going to have much more detail coming up on that later. So these are going to be a great option for any GT owner out there that's looking to show a little bit more love and affiliation to the big blue oval as these are going to look right at home under the hood with our prominent blue powder coated finish. But additionally, no matter if your Mustang is a daily driver or a weekend warrior, if you're the Mustang owner out there that's gonna be showing your car more often than not, I'll tell you firsthand that underhood points definitely count, and these are sure to make a lasting impression with any judge that's gonna be looking at them. We're gonna see that these are gonna be manufactured out of a tough aluminum construction that's then gonna be finished off in a great looking blue powder coated finish, which is gonna be able to withstand high temperatures under your hood over time. But having them right here on the table in front of me, I can personally attest to the build quality here. Just like anything else that comes out of Ford Performance, their attention to detail and quality of craftsmanship is consistent throughout, and that's gonna be no change right here with what we're looking at today. Now, in all honesty, I really think they're worth every penny. That's gonna be due to the fact that if you're looking to pull your own valve covers, you're gonna have to put a lot of elbow grease into them, and that's gonna be down to just the materials and the man hours to get them back into shape, and then to prep and then have them painted. But being said, I will throw it out there that Ford Performance does have these offered in a chrome or a black setup. So depending on where you're looking to take your car, you're gonna have a couple different options out there for you as well. But switching gears to that installation, like I said earlier, you're gonna be looking at a light to a moderate two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here and about a two to three hour job. But looking ahead here, guys, this job's gonna warrant the entire toolbox. I'm talking various sockets, ratchets, extensions. You're definitely gonna need some silicone gasket remover. You're gonna need some dielectric compound here, as well as some sealer. And above all, maybe a second set of hands would be your best bet to help get these on. So to begin, you're gonna to wanna to crack that hood, disconnect your negative battery cable, and then if your GT did come equipped with a tower brace, or if you have an aftermarket one on, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pull that off. Now you can go ahead and start on the driver's side where you're gonna to wanna to begin by pulling your factory air box or cold air intake. We're talking everything from the math and any type of corresponding PCB hoses or any type of breathers attached. Now something that we're gonna suggest doing is gonna be completely disconnecting them and a pro tip here is gonna to be to label them so once it's time to get them back in, you're not gonna have any type of guesswork. So after that, you're gonna to need to then remove your fuel injector connections and then pull the EVAP line from the intake manifold. So removing your factory valve covers, it's gonna help slightly to loosen up your factory oil dipstick tube. That's something you don't necessarily need to do, but I would personally suggest being careful lifting up that factory cover until it clears your VCT solenoid. So after that, you're almost out of the woods yet. What you're gonna need to do is then get your new gasket as well as a little bit of silicone, get a fine bead on there, clamp everything down, you're gonna take a couple of your extensions, bolt everything down, and then you're gonna to wanna to begin by moving over to the passenger side. So that passenger side will uninstall and install very similarly. You're not gonna be looking at doing too much additional work here, but once that work is completed, it's more or less gonna be attaching your factory air box or cold air intake along with your coil on plugs all your hoses and EVAP lines, buttoning up your tower brace or aftermarket strut bar, reconnecting your battery, and then you're good to go. So that'll then conclude the installation portion, as well as my review and breakdown of Ford Performance's laser etched valve covers in blue, fitting the 2005 through 2010 Mustang GT, available right here at AmericanMuscle.com.